everyone, this is Archer Fangs and welcome back to a new Let's Play. Uh, so, if you guys don't know, uh, I have a Twitter account. And follow me at twitter.com slash Archer Fangs. Um, it's in my description below. Uh, if you want to follow me there. And on Twitter, I release a voting poll whatever you want to call it and I asked for what game should I let's play next and I got this game how to survive 2 and the other choices was um, tabletop racing war tour and transformers devastation and also it was a different poll but nobody bought on that one and had like a fourth option, a fourth game as an option and that was 7 days to die uh, again to do it again but with the new features they added like ooh, like a year ago so yeah how to survive 2 is a game uh, a survival game where you're given uh, missions and when you do this mission you get experience you're rewarded with materials with stuff and you bring the stuff to your camp to improve your camp and build different types of camp facilities like I only played this like for like maybe I did play this like a day straight um, like at level 7 I think uh, and you like like you unlock new facilities and like for example you have like the foundry that's like the smelter furnace like in 7 days you die you get like a armory where you can make weapons and bullets stuff like that then you have like a, a kitchen where you can make um, cook food, stuff like that, make drinks. Because there is a hunger bar and there is a thirst bar, stuff like that. And there's also like a carry capacity. So, yeah. So let's get right into it. Um, so let's get new camp. So basically. Um, this game you aim with the right stick. It's kind of like one of those twin stick shooters. Uh, yeah, you that's the aim is only if you have like a weapon, like a bow and arrow or a gun. But if you have like a melee weapon, you attack with the square button. So yeah, every time you go into a lot of game, you always have like the control layout. It's really cool. So yeah, so we have this latitude twenty nine longitude. You just enter the transmitter zone. Pray it's not a trap. Okay, new profile. So this game, I, I compare it with um, Pokemon Mystery Dungeons a bit. Because you build a camp right here. And in Pokemon... Well, I'll, I'll do that later. So in Pokemon Mission Dungeon, you don't build like a camp, right? You already have the CD there, you do all the stuff, you speak to Kangaskhan to go to the storage room and you play the Mystery Dungeons. And then you go off set missions and they send you into the mission. Or you don't really get sent, you have to go to the like the village exit and you select the destination and you get to the um, cave, wherever you need to go, the mission requires to go. And this game is similar to that. And then you get like experience for completing the mission and then you could loot that the stuff in the mission and bring it back to your base and even the rewards you get from the mission are given to you so you kinda got like extra stuff so it's really cool. So let's do what the let's tell us to do. Press the touchpad to display a map. Your position is marked on the map, and so are the positions of the natives you can talk with. Don't be shy. Go talk to them. They probably won't bite you. Take advantage of that. Alright, so... Uh, apparently you can play this game with four people um, in the same room. Or even four people off, uh, like online. I don't know if you can see on, the, on each corner of this video. You have press this button to join. That's for other controllers. So it's really cool. Also, you could change the map location. Now you can have it in the center, you can have it a little bit more zoom out, then it goes on to the right, and then like on the bottom right corner, then over here where it doesn't bother you that much. So yeah. So let's um, 
contact the only guy. Speak. Hey, a stranger. Don't be afraid. I don't bite. All right. I'm happy to see that my message helped get you here safe and sound. Okay. Let me introduce myself. I'm Kovac. All right, man. Hello, Kovac. All right, so. forgive me for this somewhat distant welcome. But we both know that these days, unpleasant encounters are a dime a dozen. And even though I get the feeling there's a bit of electricity between us, I figure we should get to know each other one step at a time. It's great. So, let's get this thing underway. Alright, so this is what I mean like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, where you go to like the bulletin board and you see like a mission. Well, you don't get like new missions every time. That's the same missions when you do them right here. Like if you keep coming to the transmitter and having this mission over and over and probably a little bit more. For for now, I think we're just doing like tutorial, I guess. So yeah, if you guys are wondering, this game was developed by Echo Software, I believe it was. It said right there in the in, in the beginning of the video on the bottom, and it was published by Five O Five Games. The same people who did Terraria, Portal Knights, The Friends Grid, uh, two I guess, and then there was uh, what other game is there? This one. Uh, there, there was like a couple ones, like famous famous titles. So yeah, so we have this one. Selection process. Good. Now that the introductions are over, I'm going to make you go through a quick selection test. I've had too many unfortunate surprises in the past. I don't let just anybody stick around anymore. Mm, all right. It won't take long. It's just to test your ability to stay in one piece when up against empty and very non-vegetarian <laughs> stomachs. So, I'm going to ask you to go into the forest and not come back until all of the occupants have been, shall we say, pacified. Got it. Got it? And if you decide to gather a few medicinal herbs while you're there, go for it. They grow pretty much everywhere around there. And I figure you're going to need some soon. Get All right. Going. I'll wait for you here. Okay, okay. So we have a description there. You could read it. I mean, it's up to you if you want. It's basically just giving you the brief about it. And Kovac just literally gave you the whole description about the mission. Increase and decrease that changes the quest difficulty. Like right now, my cap level is um, character level is one, and then quest level is one. So, yeah, as you progress through the game, some missions get harder and tougher and more challenging, stuff like that. So, main objective is kill five infected, secondary, gather two medicinal herbs. We were we're gonna get thousand five hundred, bonus 1.0, total XP. So let's start the mission. So yeah. So apparently you actually have a camp level. That's where you build your own camp. You have to find like a proper spot to build your camp. And you start building all these facilities. And when you increase your camp level you unlock new um, upgrades like new buildings. And also the count level determines your um, level capacity for the facilities and your character. So if your camp level is level 5, you couldn't level up your guy and your uh, and upgrade your facilities to level 5. So you want to get to level 6, you need to level up your camp level. So right now we're not to that point. So I'll just go to there. So we have like our first infected. You can whack many times. We have the map right here. And you need to zoom out a bit. So I'm gonna put it here like in the bottom right. Okay. So you sprint with the L2. What's this shiny? Ooh, I got this in the herb. It says X to kill. Ooh, a rabbit. Oh, I don't have a. Some of the resources you collect can be combined to make more advanced items. Like weapons, health okay. kits, and lots of fantastic things. To make an advanced item, you need the recipe for it. You only have okay, to make your backpack better. holds everything you pick up. But be careful, or the resources will weigh you down. Alright, yep. 
It's just telling us uh, that we can craft stuff and that we have a backpack to carry stuff, but if we carry a lot of stuff, we're gonna get encumbers, you know, blah blah blah, you know, all that kind of stuff. So if you press circle, you go into like the menu, you can switch the tabs, like all oh, sort things out if you're looking for something specifically. Then you have it here like your character. Uh, if you click right here, you can customize your character. Um, you can do that now if you want. There's not that many variations in in the character customization in this game, so very little change the guy he looks. Apparently, there's only one female body type, which is kind of weird. So, so I'm gonna stick to the guy. I'm gonna change the. I don't like the shirt, so let's change the shirt. Looks weird. And let's go for the green one. Then the pants. Let's go for green. What's this? Accessories. Uh, you know, for shoes. There's not that many variation though. Alright, let's just keep that. And by customizing your character, you got a trophy. Alright, like, kill him. What's this? Big wood. Big piece of wood. So, yeah. Ah, freaking rabbit. Oh, well. Big piece of wood. And there, I completed the mission. Apparently, once you complete the task, you can still stay in the mission. It doesn't like exit you out automatically. It you can stay there and continue looting, getting uh, more kills to get more XP. It's really fun playing this game. I hear a zombie nearby. Oh, that's a rabbit. So yeah, so let's go back to the camp. We're gonna do the next mission. So yeah. So if you guys enjoy this, hit the like button and if you're into the channel subscribe and make sure to hit the bell symbol so you can be notified when I upload a video and don't forget to leave a comment below. So yeah. So I'm gonna start doing this. So if you like this video, if I if this video for the i I'm gonna record two videos. If these two videos get five likes, I'm gonna continue the series. If you wow, enjoy you it, accumulated tons of experience points. It's almost indecent and definitely risky. If you don't spend your experience points, you run the risk of losing some of them. Okay, whatever. So it's just I know that we have experience points. I mean, we need to do something about it. So we need to press down to access the camp menu. So we need to use the experience to level up our camp level. So yeah, right here to lose everything on the left. And it tells us about what what does um Chris and the camera will do and all that kind of stuff basically. So yeah. So let's upgrade the camp level. Apparently it uses little experience but you have to like apply it multiple times. So this one uses three hundred points. And I have a total of one thousand seven hundred and forty. I actually used right now some three hundred. Again, again and again. So now I'm camp level two. So now, there you go. The cat has reached a new level. So also if you press circle, you go over here, versus the arrow, versus upgrades. You can get some upgrades too, but apparently they use more EXP though. And there's your character level as well, which gives you more recipes. So right now I have this thing. So I wanna, I'm gonna craft the improved baseball bat so I can do more damage. Is what it does. Right here. This is a baseball bat. This is an improved baseball bat. So now we we'll do 100.8 damage or per second. I don't know why it has that though. The melee damage is 51. Stopping power melee is 20. You know all the details about the weapon. So now how's it now? So let's talk to the guy again. Good. Not bad for a rookie. The style was a bit unpolished, but I can see you've got potential. All anyway, right. I think you just convinced me to welcome you to New Kovac City. All right. Not too sure of the name yet. What do you think? 
I'm sort of hesitating between Kovac Grad or maybe Kovacton. Okay. I want a name <laughs> that's really unifying and worldly. Anyway, we can think about it later. All right. Okay. So what's next? Don't be afraid. You're okay. going to accomplish great things, things together. All right. So now we got our next mission. First time in the city. So let's do that. Seeing as how we are now friends, I guess I should open the door to my humble refuge and introduce myself. Right? Don't move. I'll unlock it right away. Hmm. Interesting. I guess the introductions will have to wait. Why is that? <laughs> He's having trouble opening the freaking door. Okay, you win, stupid mechanical lock. So, we'll ask our new friend outside if he can go find something to fix it in town. You don't mind, do you? A bit of oil should do the trick. You should be able to find some in town, in one of the few stores that haven't been ransacked yet. All right. While you're there, you might as well collect as much food and drink as you can. A hungry or thirsty survivor already has one foot in the grave. That's I'll true. I'll be waiting here for you. I'm not going anywhere, obviously. And if you can find something better than that bat of yours, go for it. When you know where to look, you can find weapons everywhere. Or make them. Bring out your inner artist. Okay, so let's start the mission. So, yeah. So this is a mission where he started introducing us about the hunger and thirst um, bar and stuff like that. You don't have like a bar, you have like a percentage. So if the number hits zero, you're gonna not die, but I think it, start, it will start like crippling your guy down. So find the D do-it-yourself store and then find a can of corned beef and a bottle of water. You can zoom in with the, if you click the left stick, you can zoom in. Alright, so. Let's do this quick. Wow. So this is what happens when you click the X button. When you stun them. You got some loot to zombies? The infected? Uh, some you know, zombies cannot be looted though. Oh, this guy. Give me coins. Sometimes they, sometime they give you like leather. And if you combine that with the, with the herbs you got, the medicinal herbs, you can make like bandages to heal you. Wow, 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 what the heck? It's going in the air. Alright, so... So I'm gonna start exploring the border. That's like maybe so I can at least see how big the map is. I'm already getting hit multiple times. Oh, wow. Oh, we have this cinder block. It was shiny. So I could pick it up. What's this? White shrew flower? Mm, I wonder that's for. I found a store apparently. I'm gonna put this one over here. So let's get to the mission already. Uh, where did this zombie come from? Take that. Oh wow, I just popped his head with the knee. Oh, 
Okay, let's go in here. There's an exclamation point. Nylon thread. What's this? Bottle of oil. I got the bottle of oil. So I could go back, I guess. Yeah, I cannot go back yet. I need to clear the nearby enemies or go away from them. What's this? Bottle of water. Aluminum table. Uh, is it. But is that. Not table. It was a tube, I think. Oh, what the heck? I just jumped it over. So there's another fit, but you could go into. Oh, this one right here. Okay. Two birds with one stone. Wow. I think I got that because I killed two zombies with one swing. So, bits and pieces of. Uh, the end of the lead. Aluminum cans. Steel springs. What else? I will go upstairs. Cinder block. There's somebody shining up in the roof of this building. In the balcony. Let's go in there. What was this? Screwdriver. Oh, nice. I'm gonna take that. Let's go up. Nylon thread. So let's go back. I want to complete the secondary objective. So I need to find some can of co of can of beef, I think, and then bottle of water. Is there in here? There's an exclamation point here. We got that. Let's get more. There's two exclamation points here. Or three. Where's the other one at? And this is upstairs. Let's go upstairs. What's right here? We got that. Take all this. Go there here. I think the table bought our water. Cool, I'll go up to the tables. Die, you bastard! The bracelets. I wonder what's that useful for. So there's nothing else in here. And what's over here in this road? Ooh, this in here and that. Chocolate bar. Coins. Cool. So you get some more EXP. Um, so I could like that level of my character as well. I get some skills. Alright, so let's go back. I think that's all. And the good thing about this game, you can keep doing the same mission over and over and over to get the same amount of rewards to stack up stuff. Like right there I got like two cinder blocks. I could come to this mission and to get more cinder blocks for like let's say for to craft a building or a, well, an item. Or if I need to upgrade a specific building that requires cinder blocks. So it's really nice. Alright, so let's see. I guess we're gonna call it in here. I'm gonna activate the thing next video. So yeah. So if you enjoyed this let's play, make sure to hit the like button. Uh, the first video of it, the like button. Make sure if it gets five likes, I'm gonna continue this series. Five likes. So far, I'm gonna record two videos. If those two videos don't get five likes, I'm not gonna continue the series. I'll probably go on with more videos still, but at least gets five likes. Uh, subscribe to the channel and make sure to hit the bell symbol so you can be notified and leave a comment if you have one. So, I am Archer Fangs. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.